fantasy films dominate the movie landscape. This is a look at how the greatest escapism genre has evolved. The first fantasy film that captured the imagination was a 1902 film, A Voyage to the Moon, by French magician turned filmmaker George Millier. Millier used his magician tricks, now aided with a camera, to appear to make people and objects disappear from the frame. Millier also introduced dissolves and edits to early film, well before anyone had ever added these elements in film. The real triumph of A Voyage to the Moon was harnessing the dreams that many people had of visiting distant satellites and planets and making their dreams come true on screen. The second giant leap for fantasy films was featured in the 1933 film King Kong, which would go on to inspire a future film director to make the first fantasy film to win Best Picture at the Oscars. King Kong was the first film to feature stop-motion animation. King Kong revolutionized technology that we still use in this day. The creation of miniatures for the creature King Kong was designed in pre-production. A bust of Kong's head, neck, and upper chest was made of wood, cloth, rubber, and bearskin. The Wizard of Oz took the fantasy genre to new heights and created millions of fantasy fans ever since. The Wizard of Oz expanded the voyage to the moon with the addition of sound and technicolor. It was the first film to feature black and white with a transition into color in the second act. This was achieved by running three strips of red, green, and blue colors through the camera at the same time. It was the first fantasy film nominated for Best Picture, but the fantasy genre would have to wait over six decades before the genre would win Best Picture. However, the song Over the Rainbow won Best Song and Original Score for composers Herbert Stothard and Harold Arian. The Wizard of Oz raised the bar on what was possible for the marriage of story and technology. Live action and practical animation have always been staples in the fantasy genre. The binding of the two has created what today is known as motion capture. In 1988, this achievement was known simply as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This film marked the first time that cartoon characters and live actors engaged as equals on the screen, where live actors could physically interact with animations. During production, mimes, puppeteers, mannequins, and robotic arms were used to help the actors to interact with the cartoons. With every new piece of technology that made fantasy films what they are today, no film or film series has pushed the envelope of what is possible in fantasy films more than the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The successful creation of motion capture revolutionized not just the fantasy genre, but filmmaking universally. The development of the software program Massive gave filmmakers technology to create hundreds to thousands of digital characters who act and move individually. This technology was shown in the Ride of the Rohirrim, where thousands of digital characters representing the Kingdom of Rohan, raced on horses towards the siege of the Kingdom of Gondor. Another new technology was the creation of digital fire. The digital fire, or flames, was not invented until the production of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Maybe the greatest technology to come out of the trilogy has been motion capture. An actor wears a track suit with small tracking marks that look like tennis balls all over his suit. When he moves, the computer tracks the movement and creates a fully digital character, such as Gollum. The actor's performance is still in the film, but he is completely removed, and a new character is shown in the film. In 2004, The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King made history, becoming the first fantasy film to win the Best Picture Oscar, cementing the legacy of Millier and all the people who made fantasy films what they are today.